What's going on everyone, Scott here, and today I'm going to be reviewing a new platforming FPS that swung onto Steam today called A Story About My Uncle. The game is developed by Gone North Games and published by Coffee Stain Studios. Now, platforming FPS isn't something that you hear about too often, but the only thing you really need to know about this game is that there's a freaking grappling hook. Boom. Give me your money, because you can't be platforming with a grappling hook. If the hook doesn't sell you, then I guess I'll give a full review on the good, the bad, and the ugly, and you can come to your own conclusion at the end. To start, you're an unnamed protagonist that's telling his daughter a bedtime story. You guessed it, the story was about his uncle. And the story theme is present throughout the game with the narrator walking us through how he remembers the adventure happening. The narrator reflects on how he went to his uncle Fred's house looking for him after not seeing him for a while, only to stumble upon an Iron Man prototype looking suit that's just his size. Now the boy puts the suit on and moments later he's whisked away to a strange new world in search for his uncle. An active tutorial follows to explain the newfound powers given to him by the suit. He can survive long falls, jump higher, and even shoot grappling hooks out of the suit. This is where his adventure begins as he'll need to climb mountains, leap chasms, and swing on icy stalactites in hopes of finding his uncle. Now on to the good, or in story about my uncle's case, the great. The art direction of music is phenomenal. Unreal Engine 3 was used to create some of the most breathtaking original landscapes that I've seen used in a while. Bright colors and lighting are used against amazingly textured darker objects to create almost a submersive effect so you feel like you're actually swinging across the chasm or racing to move onto your next safe platform. For an indie to spend that much time on attention to detail is fantastic. I found a giant frozen blue whale while I was exploring and you could tell so much detail was put into it but a majority of the players probably will just fly right past it because it's not in like a main part of the story. It's actually just out off to the side. So good job devs. The platforming and the use of the grapple mechanism is fantastic. It's very free flowing and it feels natural. And with what I said about the lighting textures, you actually feel like you're flying through the air, which is really cool. It's a very nice mechanic. Probably one of the most fun mechanics that I've played with in a while in a game. So the platforming itself is pretty solid. There were a few rage inducing moments as I tried to figure out where I needed to go or why I couldn't land a particular jump or swing, uh, but all in all with a few tries and as many deaths, everyone should be able to get to where they need to be in the game. Um, the story and gameplay, they were also top notch and you have the main story which is the quest to find your uncle, you also have a few minor storylines pertaining to the locals that you meet along the way. And there are no adversaries or violence in the game, so you don't have to worry about fighting. And you can just focus on the platforming and the story and just the general atmosphere of the beautifully crafted world that you're in. Alright, so for the bad, the only gripes that I have with this game are very minor. First up, the FPS hand takes up a majority of the screen. And you could change the FOV to make it even out a little bit, but a custom slider would have been nice. Also, uh, if anybody else notices, the protagonist is supposed to be a child. But it looks like the hand belongs to a grown man, so that kind of threw me off a little bit, but not a big deal. Um, the voice acting and the subtitles were a little rough at times. Nothing horrible, but could have used a little improvement. The narrator was mildly monotone, and there were a few typos in the subtitles, along with use of improper English, so not very game-breaking, not a big deal at all. The only other thing I can think of is more of a suggestion instead of a bad element of the gameplay and that's to implement some type of hint system or a map overlay. Uh, when you're looking for a glowing rock to grapple in a sea of glowing rocks, you may get a little confused and lost. Now I understand if the devs did not want to add this just to make it more challenging for the player, and realistically it's not something that's needed, but it could come in handy to the less platform friendly player. So that's not that big of a deal, and all in all, it's mostly good, like I said. Now, for the ugly, there's only one real complaint I have in this game, and it, it's kind of their own fault, because they made the game so gorgeous that I can't help but shake my head over the NPC character models used. The art direction's stellar in the game, so it feels like the NPCs are a big red blemish on the face of perfection. So that's really it. So if you can look past that, you have a damn great game. Now, I spent about eight hours on the game already, just exploring and taking in the scenery, as well as dying a lot, and then attempting to do challenges. And I have to say, this is probably one of the most fresh, original indie games that I've played in a really long time. Uh, it's probably my favorite indie game of the year so far. Just gonna throw that out there. 
And there are also challenges that can be played for Steam achievements, as well as collectibles that can be found to unlock bonus content. I just did one playthrough, so I haven't found any bonus content yet, but I will be playing a second playthrough, and I will put up some videos on that when I get to it. And if you want to plot a course prior to tackling the game, there's also a trial run option where you can practice. So, um, achievements, no Steam cards, and full controller support. There you go. Thanks for watching, everybody. A story about my uncle is available on Steam for $12.99 with a launch discount of 10% until June 4th. Until next time. Take it easy and peace.